Beech trees in America are coming under attack from a relatively new disease. To find out more, we're talking to Bartlett Tree Experts Arborist Representative Megan Kazensky. Megan, tell us about beech leaf disease. Beech leaf disease is an emerging disease caused by a foliar feeding nematode or a microscopic worm. It's likely native to Asia and affects all species of beech. So the North American native American beech, European beech, and Oriental beech. So tell us about the history and progression of beech leaf disease. It was first discovered in the Cleveland, Ohio area in 2012. Since then, it's been uh, detected in numerous states throughout the Northeast, including Ontario. It's unclear how the nematodes are moving. In severely affected mature beech trees, there are billions, if not trillions, of nematodes present in the bud tissue. We know that they move locally through rain splash and wind-driven rain. There are some hypotheses that they're moving on birds through non-flying arthropods like mite insects, and research is underway to test that hypothesis. We are seeing um, puckering and distortion in the leaf tissue, uh, very clear dark banding. The best way to look for it is to look from the lower canopy up, up through the sunlight, and you can see those dark banding. As the leaves come out, they are chlorotic, distorted, and over time, because of the stress, we'll start to see upper crown thinning and some dieback. Uh, we have seen decline in as little as three to six years from the onset of symptoms. So what other plant health issues that impact beech trees can look similar to beech leaf disease? So different types of aphids, woolly aphids or rolling aphid can cause distortion in the leaf tissue, uh, discoloration and chlorosis, which is a yellowing of the leaf. Other things like Phytophthora root rot and cankers can cause upper crown thinning and dieback. Uranium patch caused by areophyte mites can cause discoloring in the leaf tissue. This is not something that typically requires any sort of treatment and there are different types of fungal pathogens like powdery mildew uh, or anthracnose that can cause leaf spot and early leaf drop, which can look similar to stress symptoms, but typically not something that requires a lot of treatment. There's a lot of misinformation out there. What's the fact and the fiction about beech leaf disease? Yeah, I have a lot of questions of, will all beech die? Will they all be saved? Is every tree on the property affected? And no, it's, it's a case by case basis. So tell us what is Bartlett doing about beech leaf disease and research as well? We're starting with potassium phosphite soil applications. This is something that's going to help improve the health and the vigor of the tree. Um, the soil care programs and root invigoration are great ways to improve the soil conditions and the mycorrhizae root zones. During peak nematode activity in late summer uh, into early fall, is a great time to do foliar applications where we're suppressing the thousands of nematodes that are present in the leaf tissue. So Bartlett pathologists and entomologists are still continuing their joint research and they're testing new theories and hypotheses as they come up to try to find more solutions and to learn more about the emerging disease. And what can people do if they have affected beech trees? I talked to a certified arborist I think of trees the same way I think about people and we're all living and growing in different circumstances. Every situation is different. The environmental conditions are constantly changing so it's really important to have someone come out to the property, inspect the trees, understand the concerns and go from management from there. Megan, thank you.